Today's pet advice is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. Well, you've brought that new baby home, your puppy or kitten, but now what? Dr. Amy Guernsey with University Veterinary Care Center is joining us. And just like our human kids, mm -hmm. our fur babies are going to need some shots as well. Good yep. morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when do puppies and kittens really start their vaccine series? We generally start them somewhere between the six to eight week mark, um, and then they'll get a series of vaccinations or a series of boosters, usually about every two to four weeks, depends on your veterinarian, until they're around 15 or 16 weeks old. Okay, well, adult pets typically, you know, go in one to th three years to get their mm -hmm. vaccinations or boosters. Why do puppies and kittens need them so frequently? Um, it's a great question, um, and it's a question that we get somewhat regularly. Uh, if you think about passive versus active immunity, um, puppies, kittens, and little baby humans, mammals in general, we get a certain level of Im passive immunity from our mothers, um, passing antibodies either through the placenta or that first milk they take in. Um, over a period of time, that immunity wanes down in hopes that the individual's immune system is going to take off. That's when vaccines become important. Um, the tricky part is maternal immunity can actually interfere a little bit with vaccines. So what we're doing with that vaccine series is we're trying to time the priming of that immune system with the wearing off of the maternal antibodies. Um, and it's variable depending on the individual. Some puppies or kittens um, will start losing the maternal antibodies much younger than others. So that's why we try to do that series to, to catch the whole spectrum uh, of individuals out there. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and our pets are going to need boosters as they continue to age. Why is that so important? Um, so the thing to keep in mind, uh, even if you get an adult animal, that they may have to still complete a short, an abbreviated series. Um, some of these vaccines um, require that because the first vaccine primes the immune system, says here's your wanted poster for the, the virus that you're after. And then that second vaccine reminds the body, okay, this is the response you're supposed to have. Um, if there's any good thing to come out of this pandemic, I think the general public has at least some understanding of boosters yeah. um, and, and, and why they're important. Um, and then those annual boosters are, are, again, just reminding the immune system, hey, this is the thing to be on the look for. Now, if I have indoor pets, and I've heard this from some people mm -hmm. who have indoor cats, they may think, well, I don't necessarily need to go get their shots. They're indoors. Right. What do you have to say about that? Um, I would definitely talk with your veterinarian because there are certain vaccines that are less necessary for strictly indoor animals or couch potato dogs or <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, but there are others that are considered core vaccine. You know, um, I vaccinate indoor only cats for rabies because I have removed a bat out of my own cat's oh. mouth <laughs> and Yikes. she's indoor only. Um, so, uh, you know, there are certain, it's a, it's a risk assessment and it's something that your veterinarian can help talk you through. Okay, good advice as always, Dr. Guernsey. Thank, thank you. you for stopping by today. And for more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.